Hello, welcome to CCTV IP Academy. Um, in this short video clip, I would like to explain a little bit about the ITU 601 recommendations, which is recommendations where analog standard definition CCTV signal uh, is converted to digital. That applies to both PAL and NTSC, with slightly different numbers for NTSC, but with this simplified drawing, you will probably understand the basic concept of it. Let's imagine this is one single television line in CCTV camera. Obviously, we've got the horizontal sinks. We have the color burst, which defines the color. And we have the actual content of one particular line. Uh, ITU 601 recommendations chooses frequency of 13.5 megahertz as a sampling rate, which is sampling the signal in horizontal direction in time. Uh, and these 13.5 megahertz make fine slicing in horizontal direction of the analog signal so that we're getting 720 samples for that one line. Uh, there is uh, also a known number of 704 that comes out as a result from these recommendations, which is actually the, the content or the length of the active line. So either one of them is, applying, uh, is applied by the same standard, so let's not get confused. It, you either meet 720 or 704, but 720 is a little bit uh, more of the actual television line. So these are the number of horizontal uh, samples that you get in one or in each line. Uh, then in PAL, we've got 576 active lines for each uh, television uh, frame. And as we know, in CCTV, we've got uh, 50 fields, which can be actually grouped in frames composed of odd and even uh, fields. So we've got uh, 25 frames when converted to uh, digital. We have 720 samples in horizontal direction, which means along the length of the screen. And because we've got 576 lines in vertical direction, we get the so-called popular uh, number of 720 by 576, very commonly referred to in CCTV as FOSIF, sometimes called also a full television frame. If we are Referring to only fields, because there are 50 of them every second, we actually can talk about 720 by 288, which very commonly is also known as 2SIF. Uh, in the NTSC format, we get equivalent uh, ITU 601 recommendation number, and that is 720 horizontal pixels. So that, please note, is the same as in PAL. But the vertical number of active lines in NTSC is 480. That is also known as D1. And accordingly, if we're talking about just the 2 SIF version of it, then that will be 720 by 240. In any case, these are the known numbers of digitized analog signal, standard definition analog signal converted to uh, digital as per the recommendation of ITU 601. Each level, each sample of this 720 can have anything from 0 volts to 700 millivolts for white, which is when converted to digital, is represented by up to 256 different levels of luminance. In the case of color, that could be color. So basically, this is a digital number, 256, which uses 8-bit representation so that we can describe any of the values from 0 to 700 millivolts in a digital domain. That's how the luminance or the color is represented at every pixel. So at the end of the day, we are having analog signal converted to digital composed of 25 frames of 720 by 576 pixels, which we again call FOSIF. In NTSC, that's 30 frames of 720 by 480, which can also be called FOSIF, but also you may find it as D1. That signal, once it's being digitized, then undergoes compression, which is one of the topics we are discussing in uh, the other uh, episodes of the CCTV IP Academy. I hope this makes it a little bit clearer, and I thank you for your attention. Hope to see you in another episode of CCTV IP Academy.